While rainfall in the Thompson-Okanagan region was slim in some areas on Monday and into the early morning hours of Tuesday, cooler temperatures as well as precipitation was a welcome sight on the front lines of many of the province's wildfires, according to Aidan Corey of BC Wildfire Services. Yeah, any uh, cool temperatures and precipitation are a welcome repeat, reprieve for our crews. Um, even if it is temporary, we are still expecting, you know, seasonably warm weather uh, coming up. Um, but it does allow the, the fire behavior to decrease uh, on most of our larger fires. So over the weekend, we were seeing quite extreme fire behavior. And through last night, it was uh, decreased quite a bit. So even though the fires are still growing, um, the fire behavior gives safer work conditions for our crews and they can do more direct attack methods. Taking a look at the upcoming forecast, Jeff Colson of Environment Canada says we can expect some seasonal to below seasonal conditions as we head into September. Uh, no real indication of return to uh, the, the heat that we've uh, seen earlier this summer. Actually, temperatures forecast for much of the Okanagan to remain around seasonal values uh, through the rest of this week and actually uh, dropping down to a little bit cooler than seasonal values as we head into Friday and the weekend. And that seems to be the trend going forward for the general area. Colson also mentioned that despite rain and cloudy conditions we've just received, he doesn't expect it to change the current fire situation too dramatically. Since this has been such an ongoing situation for so many weeks, that conditions have been so dry, temperatures have been so warm, uh, while this cloud and, and shower activity is obviously welcome, uh, I don't really think we're looking at major changes in the wildfire situation going forward. 70 kilometer an hour wind gusts as well as warm temperatures were certainly to blame for the increased wildfire activity on Sunday. While the temperatures will remain in the low to mid 20s for the rest of the week, Colson says we can expect northwesterly winds to come in on Tuesday and Wednesday afternoon at about 20 to 30 kilometers an hour. So we'll certainly be watching those winds, the cooler temperatures, as well as the wildfire activity. Castanet News, Jaden Wozni, Kelowna.